Today I'm going to show you how to find these dashed basic shapes in Canva and also I'm going to guide you through the steps on how to create this dashed outline on a subject and we're going to do everything for free in Canva. So if you guys are interested in this tutorial, let's go to my computer. Let's start with the first part of this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to find these dashed basic shapes in Canva. So you can use any of the doc types available in Canva. I'm going to open a presentation one for this example. And now inside of the Canva editor, let's go to elements. Here we are going to type dashed shapes and hit enter. Once here on the search results, let's go to graphics. And here we have all these basic shapes with a dashed line. All of these shapes are available for free in Canva. And if we go down, we will start seeing some shapes that are available for Canva Pro users but I would say that we have a good variety of shapes available for free with this dashed line and now let's go to the second part of this tutorial in which I'm going to show you all the steps on how to create this dashed outline in Canva but before I would like to read you my favorite comment of the week which is from Lori Hatcher she said thanks so much for your generous time and excellent help I'm really happy to see your comment Lori and thank you so much for the good vibes I really enjoyed creating this video with Ronnie because we were able to gather all your questions into just one video and we answered all the common questions regarding to Canva websites. So if you guys are interested, you can watch that video later on. I'm just going to leave the link over here. And now let's continue with the second part of this tutorial. And before going to the second part of this tutorial, I would like to give credit to Queen. This is her YouTube channel and she has very cute Canva tutorials, all in Vietnamese, I think. And I hope that I'm pronouncing your name correctly. I actually Googled it and I think it's Queen. And why am I giving credit to Queen? As you know, I love to go to the Canva Design Circle. This is Canva's official Facebook group. And I saw this tutorial, which I found very useful and I also love the aesthetic of having this dashed line or dashed outline around a subject so I took a couple of tips from her tutorial and I'm including them into this video so let's go to our Canva editor I already have the photo that I want to use for this tutorial in the uploads section so here it is my photo here you can follow two different paths to create this dashed outline the first one that I'm going to show you is going Going to be using a Canva free account and we are going to end up with very similar results and the second one is using one of the Canva Pro tools that is going to guide us or make this process a little bit simple but either way it's going to be the same so let's start let's go to elements and here let's go to lines and shapes see all here I'm going to select the second option we have our dashed line already on our design but first I would like to already decide what kind of thickness I want to have on this dashed line so I'll be using the weight feature or the weight button that we see here and increase it until I see something that I'm happy with so I think this one is going to be okay with what I want I think it's big enough for it to be visible in a YouTube thumbnail so I'm going to go for it and what we can do is to go closer so I'm going to use the zoom feature that we have here this slider to go closer and now I'll start duplicating this dashed line around my body trying to keep the same space between the line and my body so it looks like the line is going around me and I'm duplicating the dash line by pressing option or alt on my keyboard and then dragging the dash okay so you will continue doing this i think i'm going to speed up the process because this can get boring and you already understand what you need to do here i would like to give you a tip 
because this little dash is actually a line as we saw at the beginning when I was starting to create the line. If we stretch this line, we will start seeing the dashed line and we don't have to duplicate again and again this little dash. This works if we have a straight line as we see on the sleeve, there is almost a straight line. So I guess it's easier to just stretch the line instead of duplicating the dash. But when we go to a corner or a rounded shape, I think it's better to do it manually, to do one dash at a time. And this is how the dashed outline ends up looking. It took me just a couple of minutes. It wasn't really hard at all. But before ending this tutorial, I would like to show you one extra step that you can take in case that you have a Canva Pro account. I think this extra step is going to guide us through the process on where to position the dashed line in order for it to look just slightly better. I think it's going to look very similar, but if you can have some extra help, why don't do it? Okay, so just give me a second and I will log in into my Canva Pro account. Here I am in my Canva Pro account and the extra steps that you can take is to remove the background. So just select the photo, go to edit image and background remover. We're going to wait until our background is no longer here in the design and then we can continue with the rest of the tutorial. Now that I have my photo without the background, I'm going to duplicate it and then again edit image. This time I'll use shadows and then glow. Click again on glow and now let's move the transparency slider to 100 and then blur to 0. Now let's increase the size, let's make this line, I don't know if you can see but I'm creating an outline around my photo so I'm going to make it very thick. This is going to be sort of a guide for me to be able to know where to locate the dashed line. So I think this is good. I'm just going to change the color in order for me to be able to see where should I position the dashed line and then apply. Now let's position this image backward and now let's try to make it the same size as the image that we have in front. Okay, so let me try to make both images the same size. Here we are, I think this is good enough. And now what we need to do is to follow exactly the same steps. So go to elements, go to lines and shapes, see all and select your dashed line. Now let's make it smaller and select the weight that you want to use for this design. So I think I'll go for a thick line style like this one. Let me maybe even make it slightly thicker. And now I'll start creating my dash outline, but this time I have a guide. So I'm going to position the dash around this yellow line and keep duplicating it. Another tip that I forgot to give you before is that this little dash, I can make it even smaller in these corners in order for us to make this effect look nicer. So it's just to give a little bit more of detail to the outline and let's continue. Let's make this process fast and I guess I'll see you in a second. So this is the final outcome by following the extra Canva Pro steps and I just want to mention that I changed the color to the same yellow that I use for the yellow outline and if you want you can actually remove the layer. Let me just uh, remove the yellow background and I'll be selecting the layer with the yellow outline so by pressing command I'm just going to click again and now I have selected the layer with the yellow outline I'm going to delete it and like this you can use any color 
for the background so let me just go again to yellow you can use purple blue whatever color that you desire for this specific design we just used the layer with the line or the outline for us to make it easier or for us to know exactly where to position the dash line and this made it much easier in my case because I knew exactly where to position the line and for me to be able to create the outline quickly rather than in the free version I had to trust my eye and I had to go around the subject or around my photo but I didn't know exactly where to position the line at some points also in this case I cannot change the color of the background because this is a photo the blue background that we see here is the blue background that I have in the photo so I cannot change it so that's also I guess a good thing about the pro version in which you can actually change the color of the background or utilize a different photo for the background and I think that's going to add an extra touch or a more creative touch to your design so yeah here you have the two options let me know which one you are going to be using which one do you find more useful I think this is a pretty cool aesthetic or or pretty cool effect that you can use on your YouTube thumbnails or maybe on your social media design it has a lot of applications so I cannot wait to see how you use it and before finishing this video I would like to give you access to some of the best free templates that we have available on my Canva profile we created this cute landing page for you guys to be able to access all these templates we have some book covers we have animated social media posts we have a seamless Instagram carousel completely for free. We have this chat mockup and so much more. So just click on that link that is in the description of this video to have access to all these templates. I also suggest you go to my Canva profile because here we have a bunch of different templates that you can use if you have a Canva Pro account. And pretty soon we will have available a bunch of free templates for Cyber Monday. So if you want to have access to those cyber monday templates as soon as they are available make sure to follow my canva profile i'm going to leave you guys the link over here and if you want to continue learning about canva i'm going to leave two tutorials that you may like over here i really hope you enjoyed this video and i wish you a nice day bye